Hi, my name is Mike Allen. I'm a small business market manager with Cisco. Okay, today I'm going to show you XML services for the UC500 or the rest of our call manager products. Now, extensible markup language or XML services are applications for IP phones in Cisco call manager environments or with my demo kit, the UC500. For example, an XML service can be used to display directory listings or submit uh, billing account numbers to be associated with calls. XML is text-based and it's a markup language that's used to create documents that convey object information and kind of the hierarchical structure of that information. So XML services for IP phones can include like uh, the display of text uh, or graphical information. When an IP phone in a Cisco call manager system uses a web-based XML service, it communicates with the web server using HTTP or you know the same protocol that PC web browsers use. Note that the applications themselves are written in XML and that Cisco IP phones do not really they don't understand HTML or like our normal web browsers do. So for normal phone transactions, IP phones use you know other protocols to communicate. Messages between call manager and IP phones are sent using our skinny client control protocol, SCCP, voice packets using RTP a UDP-based protocol for sending voice, video, and, and other uh, packet or data-sensitive material across networks. So an IP phone, when it begins to invoke a service when using uh, or when a user presses the services button, by default the services button is assigned to a URL that points to VoiceView Express on the UC500. Although the default can be changed by your system administrator. So today, my services menu is pointing at an XML doc living on my local area network that the phones are capable of reaching. So I've added VVE, and what I'm going to do is press the services button, press number one on my service URL, and what you can see in the display is I've added VoiceView Express, or VVE, back to that XML document. So now I'm pointing at the other things that you see here, flight delays, North America area code lookup, stock quotes, weather by zip, etc. are all pointing at free XML services provided by burbysoftware.com. So I, I encourage you to go check those out. There's some pretty neat ones on there. Now, there's two things that have to happen first. Okay, One, you have to have that XML document set up in creation by your system admin. Two, you have to have a phone that is using or capable of XML. So mine right here is a 7970. So let's look at flight delays real quick. I'm going to scroll down, press the number 2, and flight delays are going to come up, or airport delay check. And I'm going to choose Atlanta because I know the size of that airport and I've been there, and it's normally got some form of delay. Okay, right now it says International Airport is experiencing a 43-minute delay. I'll show you a couple other ones real quick. So we've got airport checks, North America, area code lookup, stock quotes. Let's see what the Cisco stock is doing today. I'm going to enter in C, S, C, O, and click submit. Ooh, down 95 cents today. That's okay, though. It's coming back up. Other ones that you can see on here, weather by zip. So let's check the zip for beautiful downtown Marysville, California today. 74 degrees, current conditions, fair, winds from the north at 12 miles an hour, about right. So again, thanks for joining this podcast today. I hope you enjoyed seeing a demo of possible options for your services URL on the UC500.